Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Aura.pm. It's a it's a very powerful task management solution, as you can see here, that can work within all the different departments of your business or just for you if you're a solopreneur. So stay tuned for this. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. We're going to talk, talk about Aura.pm today so another in the project management as it says here agile task management and team collaboration we've been doing a lot of these videos lately i mean there's just been a lot of entries into this space and uh, you know trello and asana and i mean it, it click up and there's a lot of you know big names in this space but there is just really a tremendous amount of competition and they're all coming out with really great design and features and, and aura.pm looks like one of those products it's really pretty i mean i love the style sheet i love their website here a lot of great examples you can kind of click here on this slide and you kind of see all the different styles they give you and all the different features that they have uh, already built. So it looks like a pretty mature product. I, I like the fact that they're talking about inserting code. Um, if, I mean, if you look up here in their solutions, you know, they're targeting all sorts of teams within your business. So this is a pretty flexible and comprehensive type of solution. If I go to pricing, I mean, it's not, it's not, you know, there's a free tier up to three and, and you don't get some of those pro level features that that uh, they mentioned on their website but the pricing is very uh, uh, affordable uh, unlimited look at that 15 per user per month if you get everything but that's that's going to be for bigger organizations let's go ahead and sign up take a look at what they have here and we'll go through their onboarding like we always do and take a look behind the covers so let's go ahead and sign up under david at techsmartboss.com you're welcome to email me any questions or suggestions you might have and uh you know i like to sign up with my email versus with my social accounts like google they do have a tight integration with github that's that's unique that you see that actually as a sign up option so that that's nice and yeah, let's go ahead and click sign up now their logo is reminding me a little bit of front app i don't know if they do that purposely in fact let me See if my memory serves me right. What does uh, Front App's logo look like? Yeah, yeah, very similar. Um, the looks like the little indentation is a different location. It's a different color. It's more of a check mark. So that just that just popped in my head. All right. When did I first hear about? Okay, I, this is so they're doing a little onboarding survey. I'll just say from a friend. What do I need to use it for? I'm gonna say personal productivity in my case. And oh, that's nice. I can multi-select general task management so again um, I think they're doing this just to learn about their users and, and offer better services and, and set up personas on marketing side uh, let's go ahead and get their emails I like to stay in touch with the companies I I talk about all right tech smart boss and how big is the company it's just me and let's go ahead and just uh, click through these quickly and uh owner and uh, yes and create my organization so definitely an a, a, a organized onboarding experience here uh, i'm going to skip adding any other users oh that's nice hi david with this little cat finger looking person uh i'm on the project screen got it and i'm here so now looks like they've got a little bit of a orientation uh, there's that little cat that must be their mascot he's all over the place and now we're there so now what can we do in here looks like the first thing I gotta do is create a project so what's nice is see some templates to get me started let's take a look at this let's say I want to do a uh, just a simple uh, simple board we'll keep it simple what is this called I'm just gonna call it my to-do list and I can invite some members, put some icons and backgrounds and make it private or uh, public. That's nice. So I can definitely see this as a big competitor to Trello. Trello has a lot of these sorts of features as well uh, where you can make the private public. Uh, and I like this little toggle switch here that I can do this with, with some demo uh, environments included. I'm going to turn that on just so we can kind of see uh, out of the box what this has. And I can do some advanced settings here. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do some advanced settings. Let's turn on this. Let's turn on uh, milestones. Uh, let's turn on 
project views, task types, and let's just do a couple of things like that. All right, confirm and create. So that was nice. That was a pretty seamless onboarding, uh, not difficult at all. And now that I'm in my project, I can create a list. Let's see what this welcome project, that might be all those demo things that we set up. Yes, it is. All right, I see. And let's just skip this for now. So I'm in here. One of the things I noticed from their website is, I, I, you know, you'll see here images, you'll see colors, you'll see boards, you'll see lots of things that visually give you cues in terms of, of what these tasks represent. Uh, this image is probably an attachment. If I click inside of here, you'll see attachments there. So that's nice that your attachments can show there. It uh, looks like there's checklist within. Let's go ahead and check, and it's going to give me a little progress bar there. That might be reflected there. Let's see what this purple markdown. Oh, that, that's really nice from a developer perspective. And now I'm seeing a little bit of Asana and ClickUp on this card. Notice up here at the top. I've got some hover icons I can do. I can kind of watch. That's nice. I don't have to be a member to get everything, but I can watch it and probably get everything. Uh, looks like a vote mechanism where I can vote up activities, add in some due dates and things like that. Very nice. That's a, that, that was tonight, I guess. So that's uh, pretty cool. Now let's see if I can drag and drop from one. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty makes sense. Oh, there's even, I don't know if you heard that little sound, but there's a little, a whoosh sound that took place. Now, let's see if I go to my to-do list. Let's make a new list from scratch. And I'll call this, um, my stuff. Just for lack of creativity today. Let's add a new task. I need to, um, make a new video. And it's all kind of little sound effects. I'm not sure if you're hearing those. Now, let's... Let's click on that and see what this gets me. So basically, I'm starting with a, with, with a fresh card. And of course, it looks like a, a commenting, commenting system down here that you can talk with your teammates on, which is nice. Let's send that. Yeah, so there's commenting. And then, of course, I can add members. I can set all those things. Let's add a label this time and see if I have any labels. So this is a video as a new label. So, this, I mean, this looks really intuitive. I can set the colors pretty simple on these uh, and now I can apply that as a label so I can reuse that and I can add checklists and to do let's add a checklist record uh, publish edit now I put those out of order and there it is I can drag and drop them so I'm not seeing anything that I wouldn't expect in a product like this is very uh, mature I love the style sheets I like the way it looks let's click around a little bit in the other settings here now this probably will allow me to create a new okay actually more than just a new project new organizations new tasks new projects let's see this takes me to more of a dashboard overview of all my things and I'm sure I could probably change the view of this as well mine and all there it is I can change this into a list view uh, let's see this is where I can most likely invite members uh, actually this is the agenda section um, so that is uh, wasn't expected but now it looks like I can actually have a nice uh, work environment where I can see what's due and what's coming up and look at this from a couple different filters and views so that's a, that's that's a nice uh, section there. And I can switch between my team as well. Let's group by project. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look at this. This is the time tracking. It's, this is the reports page. Okay. So I've got it. So a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is um you know I I'm seeing that this is well thought out. Uh, I've got my night mode for those who prefer that. I don't. So I'm going to turn that back off. And I want to see, let's take a look and see if it talks about integrations anywhere. Am I missing that? Um, preferences, perhaps. I can connect to Google Calendar. That's definitely an integration there that's always needed. Email aliases, that's kind of interesting. So um, it will match your emails to, to your GitHub commits, which uh, we saw that integration there. Let's look under preferences here. So I'm not, it's not popping out to me where your integrations are. They may actually be at the project level. 
but I'm not seeing them off the top of my head and it might yeah this is at the project level and yeah I'm not seeing them right away so I had to do a little bit oh there they are right there at the project level integrations all right that's what I was looking for so we can kind of see slack you know I love slack github we knew about bitbucket so a lot of a lot of your development tools this works well in that agile development model but then you got Trello you got Zendesk a very nice integration with a help desk application there and of course we saw the Google Calendar uh, as well so a lot of customization a lot of things you can do here and you can see it has all of this because it does match that that entire solutions approach that we saw on their website where any department or group in your organization could use a product like this and you could have it all under one umbrella which which is always nice so this this reminds me a little bit of Asana and Trello and ClickUp and all these other tools that kind of uh, do this uh, but but in a, again in a, in a nice fit so another one for you to look at and see which one best fits your business's persona and, 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 and your needs of, of your business all right, I'm going to wrap this one up. I've covered quite a bit on this. I'm going to play around with it some more and see what I can do with it. If you like these kind of videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out a video per week. And then also check out our Facebook page. We're doing all kind of fun stuff there in the Tech Smart Boss, even our private Facebook community. Just search for Tech Smart Boss. You'll find our group. I'll talk to you next time.